Now, your 2 News Oklahoma weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. A few more things for drivers to keep in mind this morning. There are some visibility issues out there in some places, huh? Julie, seeing those visibilities rapidly increasing, rapidly decreasing, and that's an issue because we're dealing with fog, we're dealing with haze, and we're dealing with smoke. And look at that live shot right there. You can see it yeah. clearly. So allow that extra time. No need to rush in. Also use those low beam headlights. That's always important. Leave plenty of room between you and the other driver this morning. Temperatures are remaining pleasant, but let's not take our focus off the area roadways. We're seeing those visibilities right now. Uh, I've again, rapidly increasing, rapidly decreasing. Right now here in Tulsa, we're at an eight mile visibility, 10 being good to go. Uh, so I've seen these drop quite a bit and then back up here within a short amount of time. Now as that sun's coming up, that'll break up some of those areas of poor visibility. So this will not be an all day event. Live look, use our Renaissance Hotel camera. Right now we're seeing those temperatures. You ready? 64 degrees. I'm loving this. It's August 4th, right, Julie? Yeah, look at that feels like temperature. It does yes. not apply there. I, I mean, it's almost unbelievable. <laughs> Going to step outside, it feels very pleasant. Northwest winds are in play. They are remaining very calm. Dew points are in that comfort zone. Those are lining up with those temperatures. So it's making it feel uh, very pleasant out there. It's also giving us the right ingredients for that areas of poor visibility to develop this morning. We're seeing 65 down to our friends in McAllister. How about 50s? Over in Bristow, there are 50 degrees. If you thought 64 was good, I'm seeing those 50s even up in Bartlesville right now. Very impressive for this time of the year. We should be in those 70s. We're good 10 to 15, some areas even potentially 20 degrees off of that average. Very pleasant this morning. We're seeing those temperatures climbing into those 80s by this afternoon. Yes, hazy sun will return because we have those north winds still in play. That's dragging in that wildfire that is out to our west and that is causing those hazy conditions that we've seen starting Monday and then again t uh, yesterday. Now for today, we'll keep those around. We're in that unhealthy sensitive groups for uh, for sensitive groups. That is Tulsa's projection for today, which is a 120, meaning those of you with asthma, lung conditions, heart conditions, make sure that you limit that time outdoors if at all possible. Take those precautions. Again, we'll be right around that 120, so no alerts. That's when they start to issue those alerts when we get into the all around unhealthy category. Let's talk about this smoke because I know we are all ready to get this out of our area and get back to some better air quality as well and some widespread sun. This will continue to impact us. Here we are into the evening hours and as we go into the overnight and into tomorrow, finally getting that haze out of here and that thick smoke will continue to push out of our area for tomorrow. Now it'll be in part to south winds. South winds will return and that's also going to change up our pattern. We are seeing those winds periodically gusting about 40 to uh, 45 miles per hour over the upcoming weekend. It's going to be a very breezy, very windy weekend ahead. And with those south winds picking up as much as they are, yes, you guessed it, our temperatures will be picking up with it. And with those temperatures on the rise, so do our heat indices. We're looking at feeling like 106 by Sunday, and we're going to continue to climb from there. When we surprise that the National Weather Service does start to issue additional heat advisories and or warnings as we look towards the upcoming weekend and even into the work week next week.